Hi everyone. Today I am going to discuss about an oxygen plant. An oxygen plant is used in the production of pure oxygen or high concentration of oxygen. The definition of an oxygen plant is the design used to generate oxygen from air by separating the other components of air. Depending on the technology used in the production of oxygen, an oxygen plant can be an adsorption oxygen plant, a membrane oxygen plant, or a cryogenic oxygen plant. Now, first I will discuss about an adsorption oxygen plant, which are commonly used nowadays for the production of medical grade oxygen. Gas separation by adsorption systems is based on differential rates of adsorption of the components of a gas mixture into a solid absorbent. The mechanism of operation of a modern oxygen adsorption plant is based on the variation of uptake of a particular gas component by the adsorbent as the temperature and the partial pressure of the gas is changed. Today there exist three methods of arranging the adsorption-based air separation process with the use of swing technologies, that are, pressure swing adsorption, PSA, vacuum swing adsorption, VSA, and mixed swing adsorption, VPSA. The pressure swing adsorption oxygen plants are a source of medical grade oxygen. The medical grade oxygen 93 contains between 90 to 96 percent volume by volume of oxygen. The remainders of the gases consists mainly of argon and nitrogen. In pressure swing adsorption, oxygen is recovered under above atmospheric pressure and regeneration is achieved under atmospheric pressure. In vacuum swing adsorption oxygen is recovered under atmospheric pressure and regeneration is achieved under negative pressure. The mixed systems combines pressure variations from positive to negative. The adsorption oxygen plants produce 5 to 5,000 normal cubic meters of oxygen with a purity of 93 to 95 percent. The important structural components in an adsorption oxygen plants are Air compressor, here shows the air compressor in a 500 liter per minute sir oxygen plant, and an air compressor of a 1000 liter per minute sir oxygen plant. Also shows here are the pre-filters tank, of a 500 liter per minute sir oxygen plant and pre-filters tank of a thousand liter per minute sir oxygen plant. The other components are air dryer and filter assembly. Here shows the air dryer with filters of a 500 liter per minute sir oxygen plant, and air dryer and filters of a 1000 liter per minute sir oxygen plant. The other components is the oxygen generator unit with adsorbers for oxygen, and oxygen analyzer. Here shows image of an oxygen generator unit of a 500 liter per minute PSA oxygen plant, and oxygen generator unit of a 1000 liter per minute PSA oxygen plant. Also, Important components are oxygen storage tank, with valve system, and the plant control system. Here shows the image of the storage tank of a 500 LPM oxygen plant, and of the storage tank of a 1000 LPM oxygen plant. The other equipment which are necessary for the operation of an oxygen plant are a diesel generator or DG for backup source of electricity. An ATS that's an automatic transfer switch, used to run the DG in case of power failure. An auto voltage controller for the oxygen plant. And a control panel board as a safety measure. 
Now, here shows the complete installation image of 500 LPMPSA oxygen plants showing from before backward. The air compressor, pre-file to tank, air dryer, oxygen generating unit and oxygen storage tank. Also, showing here in the 1000 LPMPSA oxygen plants from before backwards are the oxygen generating unit, air dryer, and the air compressor. Now, let's have a short description about a membrane oxygen plant. In a membrane oxygen plant the basis of gas media separation with the use of membrane systems is the difference in velocity with which various gas mixture components permeate membrane substance. The driving force behind the gas separation process is the difference in partial pressures on different membrane sites. Membrane oxygen plants allow efficient air enrichment with oxygen up to the concentration of 30 to 45 percent. The complexes are rated 5 to 5,000 normal cubic meters per hour of oxygenated air. Gas separation is achieved in the gas separation module composed of hollow fiber membranes and representing the plant critical and high technology unit. A part of gas separation unit other import technical components are the booster compressor or vacuum pump, pre-purifier unit and the plant control system. Now a short description about a cryogenic oxygen plant. A cryogenic oxygen plant produces molecular oxygen of high purity at more than 99.5%, which can be stored as a liquid or filled into cylinders. The production of a cryogenic plant ranges from 50 normal cubic meters per hour to 8 lakh 60 thousands cubic meters per hour. The cryogenic oxygen plant consists of a warm end container cold box, and storage. The cryogenic oxygen plant separate and capture all the components of air. A rheogenic oxygen pants are more cumbersome and complex in operation. That is all about a complete description of an oxygen plant. Thanks for watching. For more videos on oxygen plant stay updated and informed by subscribing to this channel, the Ars Mu Healthcare. Thanks for watching, and bye bye.